Following more breaking news for you this evening, Georgia's Speaker of the House David Ralston has died. Just this month, he said he would not seek re-election as Speaker to address some health concerns that had come up. Now, Ralston was the longest currently serving House Speaker in the country, and we're told that his wife and children were with him when he passed away. 11 Alive's Doug Richards joins us tonight to talk about his life and legacy, Doug. Yeah, Ron David Ralston was an arch conservative who managed to win the respect and even affection of members of both political parties at the Capitol. David Ralston was a lawyer from Blue Ridge. He became speaker almost 13 years ago. Ralston supported conservative abortion and gun legislation, but he also supported foster care and mental health bills backed by Democrats. Ralston was the longest currently serving House Speaker in the United States. We're told. He got a case of COVID that hospitalized him. Uh, he passed away today with his wife, Cherie, and other family members at his side. At the Capitol, David Ralston was a very strong advocate for COVID testing and mask use during the 2020 legislative session. Ralston's passing means that House Speaker Pro Tem Jan Jones of Milton automatically becomes Speaker, the first woman to ever hold that position in Georgia. But after Ralston announced last week that he would step aside, House Republicans named John Burns of Effingham County as the new speaker and with Jan Jones's support. A lot of folks are talking a lot about the the length of service that we saw mm -hmm. from David Walston. Things have certainly changed since he took that that position of leadership at the state house. Did he change with the times? <laughs> well, I mean, in 2016, obviously the Republican Party changed a lot with the election of President Trump. David Ralston was not a Donald Trump enthusiast, uh, and yet he was undoubtedly way more conservative than, uh, than Trump ever was. Yeah. Okay. A lot of folks remembering him tonight. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we should also point out that Jones will likely gavel in the House when it reconvenes in January and then pass the gavel on to Burns after his election is formalized, and there will be a lot of heavy hearts in the chamber as well. Yes, David. that's certainly true. Yeah, all right. Thank